anyone own any of these cars? Does anyone own any of these cars? No? Yeah, I think it's one of them, just so we can get a car. They're going to get, well, I'm going to get one of these cars. Let me get another one. Hey! 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 Hey!
and certain hope of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our body of humiliation that it may be like his glorious body, according to the almighty, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things to himself. I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor that the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkle of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised, imperishable, and we will be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality when the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality then the saying that is written will come through death has been swallowed up in victory where O oh, death is your victory where O oh, death is your standing the standing death is sin and the power of sin is the law but Thanks be to God who gave us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Amen. 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 
Sabri, your best friend, young Asor Penny, na Wabon Pie, a bra, Yakin Ken, Yamias, and Dagan Pato, Mount Bassin. But you know, you see, yes, I'm Bassin, I'm not. Our Lord and the Father, we thank you for this occasion. The Bible says in all things you should give thanks to God, and that's what we are doing. We want to thank God for the life of our husband, our father, our grandson, our grandfather, and our brother, Kingsley Nicholas Oti. The Bible says that we are sojourners, pilgrims on this land here, and that one day we'll all leave this land here to make a maker who brought us to this world. I want to thank him for the life of Mr. T. Whatever he accomplished on this earth, we know that he did it because it was a promise that was predestined before he creation. Father, as we mourn him today, we are remembering one thing that the Bible says, Blessed are those who die in the Lord. We know that our Father has died in the Lord. He has accomplished his feet. He has accomplished what God desired for him. And we are saying, Father, we are very grateful. We want to thank you. We thank you also for those who are assembled here. We are praying that if there's anybody here who has not seen the Lord, it is our hard desire that as we witness this moment, we we'll begin to reflect and think about what we're doing with our lives. We want to thank Almighty God for this day. We believe that our Father is going to make it, meet his maker in heaven. And that one day, we all profess that one day we shall all be together and sing our son at the name of our living God. Father, we thank you, we bless you, and we honor you for this celebration. Jesus' name we all pray. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. Let's continue to pray. And at this moment, I would like us to remain silent for a moment. Just a minute silent. As we ponder over this morning, this time, our own father, husband, friend, brother, living this house for the last time. Let's ponder in our own way, recollecting all the memories, those who know him. As we prepare to bring this body before the Lord, and then later, ash ground to ground. And as we do this, let us all draw closer to the cross. Christ who died for us, but gave us that assurance that he's going to prepare a place for us. And so today, as we say goodbye on this earth, To our loved one is going to a better place, a place already prepared for you, where you and I will one day meet you. So I want you to remain still silent for a moment. Psalm it said to us as we pray. One thing I ask of the Lord is the one thing that I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord through all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. So, Father, today and this moment, beginning of the day, I want to commit all those who have gathered here into your hands and those who are yet even to come. As we come together physically and spiritually, those watching on Zoom or YouTube, to say goodbye to your own beloved son. Whom you have called. 
We ask you, Father, at this moment to comfort the family, the children, and the widow, grandchildren, friends, the church family, and all those who knew Nicholas. Today, Nicholas is living here. This is not going to be his home again. And so, Father, we ask you to take him away. And leave the family to continue with their lives. On his journey, guide him through. Take him to that place where you are prepared for him. That he may rest in peace. Until the day that the trumpet will spring. The trumpet will sound that the dead will be raised to meet before you. We give you thanks and praise now and evermore. Amen. Amen. Now we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a burden from God, an internal house in heaven, not built by human hands, internal in heaven. Father, we continue to honor your name and bless your name for the great work through you that you use our Father to come and do. Today, as we've already prayed, Father, we commit the family into your hands. That any gap that has been created because of our Father's death, you being our Father, you being our Lord, you being our God, you being our senior brother, Lord, you will occupy that place. You will comfort them. You will protect them. You will guide them. And you will provide for them. And above all, Lord, let them continue to live under your feet. That when everything has been done, we all come together and say, indeed, you are God and our Lord, the faithful one. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, I think I think it's the time we just finished. And so those who will be walking, you can walk to the church. And we'll be meeting at the church. The service is going to start at 11 o'clock at the church. Uh,
Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Okay. That okay. guy who yeah, he's yeah, coming. Yeah. He will come.
Hallelujah. We are going to read our last verse and then I think our time is almost up. Almighty God, whom the spirit of all dead in the Lord come, and whom the souls of all the faithful, after having been delivered from the burden of the flesh, receive joy and happiness. I give thanks, for it has pleased you to deliver this, our Father, so out of the wretchedness of this sinful world. We ask that it may please you shortly to accomplish the number of your elect, that we, we, with all those that are departed in the true faith of your holy name, may receive perfect consummation of bless in your eternal glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Now let us receive the grace as we say goodbye to Father for the last time. And so most gracious and loving God, once again, we want to give you thanks and praise. We want to glorify your name. And this moment, as we leave, we ask your blessing upon each and every one over here. And as we walk to the church, as we drive to the church, guide us and lead us. And now may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest upon you. May he guide and direct you. And may he remain with you now and always. Go in peace. And serve the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. I saw you with that the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh, I'm going to go to the house. 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 O